So here are some of the initial fitting considerations that I want you to think about. One is fit the hearing aids in accordance with the hearing loss. That's number one. You're not going to change it simply because of the tinnitus. Fit the hearing aids so that you're providing the best hearing for the patient, for the client. Next, you're going to select Zen as one of the listening programs. So uh, on the screen and in the little manual that you're getting, you will be able to see how typically we're going to put our acoustic program, our master program in memory slot or program slot one. And then if we want to, we, can, we could put another acoustic program, let's say in, in program slot two, but typically the master program will be adjustable enough and will be adaptable enough that you could use that program in slot one, and then in slot two, you could put in a Zen listening option. And I frequently will start off with the Aqua because, again, I know that that's the most comfortable for most individuals, but if they say to me, you know, I'm not too... Uh, I'm not too thrilled about that sound. Let's see if we can't change the tempo. Can we make it louder? Can we make it softer? Then you click on settings and you have the ability to go in and work with your client to make the tempo faster, slower, make the pitch higher, slower, or to change the Zen style. So instead of going to aqua, you might go to coral or to lavender or to green. Depends on what your patient wants. We also then after adjusting the, the tempo and the pitch and the loudness, we want, oh, and by the way, with the loudness, we want to make the signal l audible. It needs to be audible or it's not going to do anything, but we want to make sure that it's soft and not distracting and that it never interferes with their understanding of conversational speech. This is very important. We certainly don't want to make the Zen tones that loud for the, for the individual. We also... Another tip for you would be to make the Zen tones just loud enough so that it begins to interfere with or, or to alter the annoyance level. What my patients tend to say to me is, ah, that takes the edge off of my tinnitus. I'm not looking to mask the tinnitus. I'm not looking to mask the tinnitus. My, my goal is to get in a signal that they hear. They also may hear the tinnitus, but I want to just alter their original perception of the tinnitus, at least to the extent where annoyance has been changed a bit. I then tend to go into the next available program slot, which for me usually is program slot three, and I set everything up exactly the way I set it in program two, with the single exception of now I deselect the microphone. So now what I have done by doing this is I have a situation where the client can either listen to amplification plus Zen or Zen alone. We want our clients to not put themselves into silent situations. When you're in silence, your tinnitus seems louder. So we want our clients not only to avoid extremely loud situations, but we want them to avoid silence as well. So again, if they don't have the microphone on to amplify, they should have the Zen tones on. 